How long have you got? Two minutes? Let's go! The story of ancient Greece begins circa 776 BC, as the world's most prodigious civilization emerges out of prehistorical darkness. Their predecessors, the Minoans, had passed on to them the art of writing, probably learned from the Phoenicians of the Eastern Mediterranean. And the earlier Mycenaeans had struck out across the Aegean to sack Troy, a story credited to Homer which was told and retold by wandering bards, leaving a deep imprint on the Greek mind. In 776, the distinctly Greek civilization had arisen to the point where its separate city-states, miniature countries in effect, would send their greatest athletes to the religious sporting festival at Olympia, which we know today, of course, as the Olympic Games. Each of the city-states evolved separately, but in concert. Sparta, most notably, developed a militaristic society strikingly similar to modern communism, in which its warrior class, though nominally ruling over slaves conquered during wars, was itself locked in eternal servitude to the state. By contrast, the other leading city of Greece, Athens, evolved towards a free government that became a model for the world. Circa 594 BC, the Athenian legislator Solon began an important evolution in Athenian society towards the resolution of class differences between wealthy landowners and peasants by outlawing debt slavery. By a torturous, often violent process, the strata of Athenian society found their way to a unique accommodation, a direct democracy, devised by Cleisthenes in 508 BC, whereby each citizen had relatively equal political standing. This new freedom was nearly snuffed out by the onslaught of the oppressive Leviathan known as the Persian Empire. But from 500 to 449 BC, the Greeks allied to deflect this aggressor and secure the archetype of freedom they had constructed for all mankind. Unfortunately, having disposed of their common enemy, the Greeks turned against one another, and Greek solidarity disintegrated in the Peloponnesian War of 431 to 404. Weakened by infighting, the Greeks were relatively easy prey to the military genius of Alexander the Great, who led them on a megalomaniacal errand to conquer the world during his meteoric career from 336 to 323 BC. Exhausted and demoralized from centuries of wars, Greece succumbed to Rome in 146 BC, passing the torch of Western civilization to a new champion.